Hi, it's the 11th of November 2012, as it says Thursday, and um, I'm not enjoying making this video. I made two very stupid mistakes, and I'm pretty annoyed with myself. And I'm realizing that if I don't stop myself from these silly, silly mistakes, uh, I'm not going to make it as a trader. So, um, probably sound a bit depressed in this video but um, you know the, the blog is all about being open and honest um, for the two years I've been doing the blog I've um, and, and the YouTube videos I've been 100% honest with everything I've done uh, warts and all and this is a big wart that I'm about to sh about to show you so um, I don't want to go go on too long and wallow in it too much but um, just want to uh, just be open and, and uh, show what mistakes newbies fall into. Although I'm 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 not really a newbie anymore, so I uh, don't have any excuses. So anyway, yesterday I you can see my video on this trade that I took. This is yesterday's market. Just quickly look at that gap down, made a bear trend, and then went into a trading range. Um, I recognised. Um, I came to the charts around 6 p.m. 7 p.m. maybe around this time and I recognized that we had trading range action this is all trading range behavior lots of bulls bears mixed together no direction or a slight drift upwards so I, I got long above bar 63 but it was in my sim account and I made profit within 10 minutes um, today we have continued the trading range to in the morning um, we couldn't break above the overnight highs by much and made a strong bear straight after the test of that so this is a second entry short at the overnight high plus a lower high uh, in the trading range and the top of the trading range so that was a great great short under bar 5 which would have been filled about 10 minutes later on, on the top of bar 8 uh, with a stop order um, and you would have got in at about 26.16 something like that the market went all the way down to 25.80 uh, actually went lower than that, much lower than that in fact um, so anyway the gist of this is that is a really 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 obvious downtrend although we did have a lot of two-sided action um, early in the session um, but the market was obviously in the downtrend I, I got to my charts here um, no, it was a bit later than that. I got to my charts around this time. So bar 55 low is a great reversal. So pushed up, um, closed back down at the moving average. Uh, we had two, so two-legged pullback to the EMA in a downtrend. So it's a second entry short. That was a great, great short there. Uh, you could have also added under bar 58 another push up, failure, another fail breakout. Um, great trades. Um, here in bar 64 we've pushed up, um, come back up to the moving average at this downtrend line. Just a limit order here is just just perfect. Another limit order there, sell there, sell there, sell there, sell here. Just keep selling because the market's going down and this is what the market did. Uh, the market's just closed a couple of minutes ago. Um, but what I did was I was playing, what I saw was bar 48 low and then the bar 62 low. Let me just draw some boxes in, this might make it clearer. So if you look at this low here, down to this low, we've got that kind of size box. And if you take that low down to this low, we've got this size box. Let's move that over so we can actually see it. Um, so we've got the, the, the down moves are getting shallower. And, and when I saw this bar 73, we had a strong rejection of the bar 62 low. I, I basically thought, right, I'm getting long there because I think we're going to come back up to test 25.90 area up here uh, to the 15 minute moving average, uh, this reversal here. I thought the move was done. Uh, I don't know why I thought that, because we've not broken the downtrend line. We don't have a strong bull reversal. 
there is no indication whatsoever that this downtrend has finished but I got it in my mind that I wanted to play this trade again from yesterday I think subtly it wasn't actually actively thinking that um, so let's just show you my fills um, so I got long um, here at 2581 now what I was doing was I had my buy stop limit well it's not going to work because the market's closed I had a buy stop limit in there and I was dragging it and I was going to drag it above the top here and but I didn't I, I carried on dragging it down and I was just hovering there with my mouse and I must have released the pressure slightly because the market I got filled I got stopped in um, and I should have just closed it straight away but I didn't and my my stop loss was automatically placed below bar 70 just by chance because I have a standard 14 tick stop on the MQ which I then adjust afterwards uh, and when I did that I thought oh well it's below this swing low we've got a, we've got a, a, a higher low major trend reversal that's what I told myself because we've got this bar, four, bar 70 bull um, completely ignoring this big downtrend and these selling tails right on the, the downtrend line and the moving average which are all very 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 obvious signs of selling um, but worse than that got stopped out at the bottom there on bar 71 I, um, I looked to take this stupid trade again and I got long above bar 76 um, looking for a, for a end of this downtrend and a reversal into the close um, sometimes the NQ does reverse up into the close but it seems to be more random than anything it doesn't seem to be um, any pattern and it's certainly a low probability event on a downtrending day like this and if anything the market's going to come up to the downtrend line and reverse look what it did and stop me out again under this under this low um, so I've taken you know seven points loss on my real account um, and yesterday I, I had a seven point profit in my sim account um, so I'm pretty annoyed to be honest pretty uh, I'm not annoyed in a kind of despairing way I'm just annoyed at myself for not being disciplined and just not just not applying what I've been learning I've put so many hours into this um, so anyway I just wanted to show you uh, some of the you know the, the down times there's a lot in trading there seems to be a lot of when you're learning and I'm sure when you're when you've made it you don't have much emotional downs but when you're learning it's, it's quite depressing sometimes when you know you know how to trade well I do I know how to trade um, I could teach someone to trade now I think and they would be profitable but you have to apply what you've learned basically so uh, anyway I hope this someone gets something out of this video because you can't really afford to make many mistakes as a trader you need to really really watch your risk but just focus on minimizing your losses waiting for the good opportunities and reading the price action that's that's all there is to it really and the context so today's context was downtrend look for good entries to sell and keep your losses small pretty simple so let's just uh, actually let's just let this video go on a bit longer um, so let's identify the trades today there's a beautiful trade off the open uh, there there's another mm, that's not great a lot of two-sided trading here I think this trade here under bar 31 was a nice trade let's move that out of the way um, 2R I also think let's just move that down a bit it's more like that um, what else have we got here so but quite a slow dribble down didn't quite make it to the moving average there so maybe not take that one um, but we had a lovely two-legged 
pull back to the EMA here and the trend line. So that was a great trade under bar 55. And uh, look where it moved to. Um, and then in here, good opportunities for sure. Let's set my fills off for a moment. Um, under the bar 71. Or, you know, you could just take place a limit order above the highs. If I can get that in. So that wouldn't have made the 2R, that would have just made the 1R. But if you get short, um, say here, easy to get 2R there. Not that you'd have your stop up here anyway. I probably have my stop there. It's kind of around that kind of area and go for 2R. Easy trade. So I completely made a, made a complete hash of it. So, uh, so one, two, three, four nice trades today, all on the short side. Nothing on the long side, although I took two longs and got two stop stop outs. So not surprising. Anyway, I'm going to stop. Uh, see you in the next video.